The Supreme Court is once again grappling with the fate of Obamacare. Justices agreed to take the case today involving a challenge to the health care plan's legality. Here's Fox News correspondent David Spunt. We are done. Yeah. Ten years to the month after it became the law, efforts by the Trump administration to get rid of the key funding mechanism could leave the entire Affordable Care Act in jeopardy. The Supreme Court agreed to hear a lawsuit by Texas and other states questioning the constitutionality of the individual mandate, the part of the ACA requiring Americans to buy health insurance or pay a price. It could be a huge deal. For 10 years, the health care system, which is a fifth of our economy, has been completely uh, wrapped up in the Affordable Care Act. And you can't just push a button and unwind the clock 10 years. This would be the third time the ACA is before the court. The justices twice decided the individual mandate penalty fell under Congress's taxation power. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. But when President Trump came to the White House, he and his Republican allies in Congress got rid of that requirement. We killed the individual mandate, which is the most unbelievable, horrible. A coalition of blue-leaning states and Democrats in the House of Representatives want to keep current protections, like Medicaid expansion and coverage of pre-existing conditions, in place. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said in a statement today, the sooner the GOP's dangerous anti-health care lawsuit is ended, the better. Every day, the Affordable Care Act provides life-saving protections and coverage for families across America. The court agreed to hear the case next term, which likely means later this fall, potentially days before the election. A decision is expected next year. Until this case is fully litigated, the 20 million Americans now covered under the ACA will not lose their insurance. In Washington, David Spunt, Fox News.